The easy anti-cheat, EA sick error in Fortnite and other games can occur for various reasons, and it is often related to issues within the system or programs that interfere with EAC's functioning. Here is a summary of some of the most common reasons. 1. Background programs. If you have background programs that EAC considers potentially problematic, such as cheat software, macros, or game modification tools, EAC may throw an error. 2. Installation issues. If the installation of Easy Anti-Cheat was not completed correctly, due to interruptions during download or installation, an error could occur. 3. Fortnite updates. Fortnite updates can sometimes conflict with Easy Anti-Cheat. In such cases, you may need to wait for Epic Games, the developer of Fortnite, to release an EAC update to fix the issue. 4. Security programs. Some security programs, like antivirus or firewall software, can interfere with the functioning of Easy Anti-Cheat. You should ensure that these programs are configured correctly to allow EAC to work smoothly. 5. Faulty hardware or incompatibility, hardware issues, such as faulty components or hardware incompatibility, can cause EAC errors. Make sure all your hardware components are up to date and functioning correctly. 6. Operating system errors. Problems within the operating system, such as damaged system files or incorrect configurations, can lead to EAC errors. First, go to the Epic Games Launcher, click on your profile, and go to Settings. Here, go to Additional Command Line Arguments for Fortnite and you'll need to type in D3D12. This will run the game in DirectX 12. If this doesn't work, go to the library and simply verify your files. Click on the three dots, go to Manage, and click on Verify Files. The next method is to update your drivers. You can do this by going to the corresponding website. For example, if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, go to the NVIDIA website, select your graphics card, and see if there are newer updates that you need to install right now. If it still doesn't work, go to your PC's local disk C or the disk where your game or Epic Games program is located. Scroll down to find the Fortnite client. Right-click on it and select Properties. Go to Compatibility and select Disable Full Screen Optimizations. If this doesn't work, go to Binaries, Win64, and open the Anti-Cheat folder. Open the Anti-Cheat config file and select Yes. Here, you can click on the Repair Service. With these methods, the crash issue should be resolved. You need to make sure that your Epic Games Launcher is not running. Right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Look for the Epic Games Launcher, right-click on it, and select End Task. Now, close the Task Manager and go to the Fortnite Installation folder. If nothing has changed during the game's installation, it should be in the Program Files on Drive C, then in the Epic Games folder, you'll find the Fortnite folder in the default location. Once here, open the Fortic T game folder, then binaries, and then the Win64 folder. Here, you'll see the Anti-Cheat folder, open it and double-click on the Anti-Cheat config file. Click Yes in this window. In the bottom left corner, you'll see the Uninstall option, so click on it. When it's done, you can close this window. Now, Go back one step, right-click on this anti-cheat folder, and select Delete. Scroll down until you see these four .exe files, select all four, right-click, and choose Delete. Don't worry, this will only remove some game files, and you'll have to download only those files we just deleted. Once they are deleted, close the folder. Start the Epic Games Launcher, click on the library, and look for Fortnite. Click on these three dots here in this menu, select Verify, and this will start the process of verifying the game files. It will scan your game files, and if it finds any corrupted or missing files, it will replace them with the new correct ones. This process shouldn't take more than one or two minutes, so be patient and wait for it to finish. After the process is done, you'll see that the game is ready to play. This way, you won't get that anti-cheat error again. 
What we will have to do is go to our for tick folder, where, if we have not touched anything at the time of the installation, it should be in the default location, C drive program files epic games a binaries and win64. Now, we will go to the folder and create a shortcut. In this file, right-click a properties and change the target name just like I do. We will put repair ROS in quotes after the EXE. We click apply and accept and simply click on the shortcut. If a black screen appears for a couple of milliseconds, start Fortnite and everything works perfectly. Anyway, if none of these steps work, you may need to contact Epic Games technical support. To get in touch with Epic Games support service to resolve an error in the Fortnite game, first log into your Epic Games account and open the Epic Games client on your computer. Once done, go to the support section, in the bottom left corner of the Epic Games client, you should see a gear icon representing settings. Click on that icon. Now, access the technical support section, in the settings tab, Scroll down to find the technical support or help section, terminology may vary. Click on this section and select your issue. Often, Epic Games provides a list of common issues. Try to select the option that best matches your problem or error in Fortnite. If you can't find an option that exactly matches your issue, choose the closest one. Now you need to describe your problem, so provide specific details about the error you are experiencing in Fortnite. The more information you can provide, the better it will be for the support team to assist you effectively. Once you have provided all the relevant information, you may be presented with the option to submit support request or a similar option. Click on this option to submit your support request. Now. You will need to wait for a response. Epic Games support team will review your request and respond accordingly. Make sure to keep an eye on your email, as you may receive updates or responses through that channel. Please note that the response time may vary depending on the workload of Epic Games technical support, so it's important to be patient while waiting for a solution to your problem. If your issue is urgent or you cannot find a solution through online technical support, you can also try to contact Epic Games through their official social media or forums. That's it, folks. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments. See you in the next one.